Hello everyone and again welcome to my humble YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Frankie and today we'll be uh, having some discussion about how uh, to be admitted in UP Open University. Ano yung mga kailang mga requirements. At the same time, uh, ano yung mga qualifications at ano yung mga possible na programs na pwede mong mapasukan kung ikaw ay interesado na mag ng isang undergraduate or graduate degree program. So, uh, first, uh, UP Open University is a constituent university of University of the Philippines system. So, katulad ng UP Baguio, UP Los Baño, so isa siyang CU or constituent university. Um, UP Open University um, is one of the leading uni uh, universities when it comes to distance education. As a matter of fact, uh, UP, Open University, UP Open University is the lead uh, university when it comes to distance education. So, dito, um, magbibigay ako ng, mga sum, ng ibang mga inputs at saka mga suggestions kung ano yung mga gagawin kapag may plano ka na mag-enroll sa UP Open University. So first, uh, UP Open University uh, isa sa pinaka general na requirement niya talaga is dapat mayro ikaw kung ikaw ay mag-i-enroll hindi ka dapat student doon muna tayo sa general wag muna tayo dun sa specific na mga requirements nila dapat ay hindi ka enrolled in any other uh, university ibig sabihin hindi ka nag-aaral sa kahit anong mga university uh naka of absence man yan or naka-awol uh, dapat ay hindi ka nakaganon sa other universities. Dapat kapag mag-enroll ka sa UP or magpapa-admit ka sa UP Open University, dapat walang, walang ibang in other engagements na or other studies. So, yun ang pinaka-basic niya. Pero may mga other qualifications tayo na i-discuss later na iisa-isahin natin. Okay. Um, by the way, uh, UP Open University uh, has various portals and websites na pwede nyong mapuntahan. Ilalagay ko ang uh, link dito sa description ng video na ito para makita nyo. Ito yung mga isasabihin ko ay galing din mismo doon sa kanilang website. Uh, Ini-explain ko lang to, to support you and encourage you to enroll in UP Open University. Um, they have associate programs, a bachelor's programs, uh, teaching certification programs para sa mga gustong mag-earn ng units at mag-take ng licensure exam for teachers. We have the graduate certificate program. Ito po yung aking inaral. Uh, graduate Diploma Program at saka Master's Program at saka Doctorate Program. So, yun yung mga programs na available sa UP Open University. Uh, this time, I'll be speaking of the context na kung saan ako nag-apply uh, kasi mas well-versed ako doon. So, I'll be talking about Graduate Certificate in Distance Education. Though, mayroon naman tayong tinatawag ng mga general qualifications. Uh, actually, almost the same naman siya. Eh. May mga variation lang na pwede nyo namang ma-visit sa website kapag nandun na kayo. Makikita nyo naman kung ano yung gusto ninyong uh, i-enroll or kung saan ninyo gusto ma-admit na program. Makikita nyo naman yung mga specific requirements uh, for each program. So, sa akin ay uh, graduate certificate in distance education. So, ito yung um, certificate program na naka embed siya doon sa program ng Masters uh, in Distance Education. So, actually, yung mga kaklase ko, mga MDE ang tinitake or Masters in Distance Education. Ako naman, uh, GCDE. O, yun, marami naman kami din. So, yung program na ito, uh, basically, it deals with how to deliver uh, instruction via distance education. But it welcomes uh, other professions, hindi lang naman teaching. Sometimes kasi, uh, may mga technologies na mga tinuturo doon or yung mga kung paano ang pag-manage ng mga delivery of goods and services via distance learning or distance education or at a distance specifically. Uh, I have classmates na mga doctors, nurses, uh, hindi lang naman lahat ay puro educators. So ano yung mga requirements na hinihingi sa amin sa graduate certificate? So basically, dapat... Uh, um, Meron kang undergraduate degree, bachelor's degree, um, uh, bachelor of science, bachelor of arts. So, yun ang pinaka-primary requirement niya bago ka makapasok sa certificate program. So, yun ang specific talaga sa mga graduate programs. So, syempre, kung ang kukunin mo is uh, bachelor's degree, uh, yun, syempre, ngayon, K-12 graduate ka dapat. Yun yung isa sa mga requirement niya. 
So, dahil nga graduate program siya, so primary requirement naman niya ay undergraduate program. So, ano yung kanyang mga admission qualifications? So, ito yung mga admission qualifications doon sa amin, sa GCDE. Again, uh, there are specific uh, admission qualifications per program na hindi ko naman po may discuss isa-isa kasi marami naman po yung uh, mga programs sa UPOU. What I am trying to do right now is to provide you a glimpse of what is going on. Uh, on the admission process kung ano ba yung nangyayari. So, to be admitted dito sa GCDE program, uh, at least you have satisfied the program specific requirements uh, specified in the program's information and curriculum. So, mayroon namang mga guides doon. Makikita nyo sa kanyang website na about GCDE, about uh, BAMS, uh, about uh, PhD. Makikita nyo naman po doon. And uh, admission qualification also is you have submitted the complete uh, documentary requirements for admission before the application deadlines. I'll be uh, I'll be uh, providing also the link for the academic calendar of UPOU for you to be guided kung kailan ba yung mga deadlines. So basically, siguro for the next school year, naka-upload na siya doon sa, ka sa OUR, eh. OUR website, so Office of the University Register website. So, complete dapat yung mga list of requirements na yon na ibibigay ko naman mamaya kung ano yung mga general admission requirements na kailangan. And sa amin, sa GCDE, uh, we have been required to take and complete the UPO, U Distance Education Readiness Module via Moodle. Uh, doon pinati kami kung kami ba ay ready ba talaga to, be, uh, to study distance education. You can, can you, are you really ready to, to study at a distance? Tatanungin doon kung may computer ka ba, may internet ka ba, yung mga ganun mga bagay na talagang ready na for distance ed. Actually, what's happening right now because of the pandemic, uh, ginagawa na yung dati sa UPOU, yung, yun nga, distance learning ang pag-aaral. So, kung baga, kung ang may pinaka-established na policies, may pinaka-established na system, isa sa may pinaka-established na system sa Philippines when it comes to distance education is the UP Open University. So, they have been implementing this kind of uh, teaching and learning modality for uh, from 1995 uh, up to present. So, yun yung mga general requirements sa sa GCDE. At meron din siyang uh, specific admission procedure. Uh, kailangan mong i-upload. To be admitted, you need to upload all the necessary requirements which will be provided later uh, through online application system or OAS. So, ipoprovide ko din ang link ng OAS mamaya. Uh, to monitor the progress of your application. So, imo-monitor mo doon kung siya ba ay kung anong status. Makikita mo doon yung uh, status ng application mo. Kasi isasubmit mo yung hard copy. So, from time to time, i-email ka naman. At ikaw din mismo, i-monitor mo din. I-ask mo din kung kamusta yung, mga, yung, um, yung admission status mo doon sa UP Open University. You're going to submit also the complete and valid admission requirements on or before the registration period to the address uh, provided to you, which is uh, the admission office or the admission section sa Los Banos, Laguna. So, nung time na ako ay nagpa-admit, oh, pinasa ko talaga yung mga original requirements kasi kailangan talaga yung mga original requirements. Uh, if required, you need to complete yung sinasabi ko kanina, uh, DE Readiness Module, isi-send naman yun sa inyo via email uh, when required to your specific program. And then, you need to wait for the email from the Office of the University Register for the admission result. So, ibibigay naman sa inyo kung ano yung status ng results, kung ikaw ba ay provis uh, provisional uh, or regular ka na enrolled, regu regularly uh, enrolled na student. So, uh, ano yung, yun yung mga admission qualifications na kailangan mong masatisfy para ma-admit ka sa UP. Uh, UPOU. Ngayon, ano naman yung mga admission requirements? Kanina, admission qualifications. Ngayon naman ay admission requirements. So, one of the admission requirements, yun nga, is, di ba, nag-fill out ka na doon sa online application system or sa OAS. Ipiprint mo yung fill out mo doon ng mga data na needed doon sa system na yun. Um, meron namang data entries doon. Of course, I cannot present to you the actual kasi uh, due to data privacy. Uh, pero doon pagpasok mo doon within the system, madali lang naman siyang masundan kasi mga primary data naman yun. Yung kinakailangan kapag ikaw ay nag-a-apply sa isang graduate program. And then you need to submit a original copy of academic credentials. Uh, yun po, original copy po talagang isasubmit. So, 
original transcript of records na mayroong tamang remarks. Uh, may list naman sila ng acceptable remarks na kanilang tinatanggap para masabi na yung transcript mo ay valid. So, hindi po pwede yung authenticated lang. Dapat siya ay original at photocopy. Dalawa, kasama. Original at saka ang photocopy. Hindi lang yung photocopy. And then, uh, lahat yon ng transcripts na kailangan mo, uh, na, na dapat masubmit mo, submit mo talaga lahat ng transcripts na yon And also, you need uh, two letters of recommendation from your uh, employer, supervisor, former professor, Uh, former program advisors. Mayroon naman specific form na i-fill out uh, para doon sa specific purpose na yun. Uh, common naman yun sa atin kapag nag apply sa isang program na mayroong recommendations. So, yun. Fill out. And then, you need to uh, provide a 500-word essay uh, indicating your purpose for applying to distance education programs. So, syempre, explain mo doon na ready ka talaga sa ganun na hindi mo gagawing reason na walang internet connection, hindi yun pwede. So, kaya ka nga nag intent na mag-enroll eh, kasi alam mo sa sarili mo na kaya mong mag-aral at a distance. So, hindi, mat- hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na uh, hindi natin pwedeng gawing reason kapag nag-aaral na tayo na mahina ang signal. You need to make a way na magkaroon ka ng access doon because pinili mo na mag-enroll on the first place. Kaya nga mayroon tayong distance education readiness module to ensure na talagang ready ka na maging distance learner. So, kailangan mo ng 500 essay, a uh, 500 word essay. I-explain mo doon bakit gusto mong mag-aral, ano yung mga gusto mong mga gawin, uh, anong naka-motivate sa iyo, uh, bakit gusto mong mag-aral at a distance, bakit hindi face to face. Of course, basically at our, at at the time ngayon sa ating peri- sa period natin dahil sa pandemic. Uh, kaya magdi-distance learn. Pero before, kasi wala namang pandemic before, so ini-explain namin kung bakit gusto mong mag-aral, anong gusto mong malaman, anong gusto mong matutunan. So, i-explain mo yun ng maayos. Kasi isa yan sa pinaka-basis kung bakit ka i-admit. So, kapag hindi maganda ang pagka-construct mo ng essay, hindi maganda yung nilagay mo doon ng mga content, na hindi mo na in- hindi mo in-explain doon ng maayos kung ano yung mga intentions mo, kung bakit ka nag-enroll, may posibilidad na hindi ka matanggap sa program. Kasi hindi naman ganun ka-convincing ang inyong uh, essay, ganun din sa records mo sa transcripts. Eh, Siyempre, titingnan din nila ang jiwa mo kung qualified ka ba talaga mag-aral doon sa UP Open University. And of course, you need to have a proof of payment na 500 pesos para for applicants for the Philippines. Yun. Uh, for uh, $100 naman kapag ay abroad ang mag apply You also need to to provide a copy of the N, uh, NSO birth certificate. Ngayon, nag-PSA na tayo sa PSA birth certificate. A uh, photocopy po nun. And then, photocopy of government-issued IDs. So, marami naman tayong mga IDs. I know that you have uh, one. And then, two identical 2x2 uh, two two ID photos and two pieces of identical 1x1 one one with your name and the program applied for for the for printed at the back at at the back of the photo. So, dalawang 2x2 uh, at saka dalawang 1x1 one one ID picture. And then, additional requirements for foreign, uh, Filipino, uh, scholastic records, uh, authenticated by the Philippine Foreign Service Post, at saka photocopy of data page of the student's passport. So, uh, yun ang mga requirements na needed uh, when you apply or you want to be admitted at in UP Open University, as what I have said, um, kapag mayro kang specific program na apply, and titingnan mo din doon yung mga specific requirements nila. Uh, in-explain ko lang kung ano yung mga general requirements na pwede nating masundan para pag, gusto, pag interesado tayo na mag-apply sa UP Open University, at least may guide tayo kahit pa paano. And I do hope that this video helps you a lot kung ano yung mga gagawin kapag mag apply ka sa UP Open University. And I hope uh, mag-apply po kayo. Uh, hindi po kayo magsisisi. Uh, at as of this moment, I am a graduating student for JCDE and hoping to graduate this uh, May 2021, though December pa ang graduation. So, by, by sem- trimester ang kanilang pag-declare ng graduates. And if you haven't subscribed in this channel, please do so and so that I could help you in other future matters. Thank you so much and have a great day. God bless you.